Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Bright Stitcher. It is <clears throat> Sunday, September 24th, and this is my whip parade. It's been a couple months since I have done a video. <clears throat> um, sorry, I have been meaning to do one. I still need to do my end of August video. So I think this will be, well, this is a whip parade. And then in the next couple days, I hope to do a update on August through September, I guess. So anyway, whip parade. I have enjoyed watching and stitching along with everyone's while they do theirs. So it's my turn. So first up, I have just emptied everything. I have two big piles next to me. I think I scared my husband because I made him help me carry stuff down here. He now knows how many projects there are. <laughs> How many project bags? <laughs> Oops. So, first up, I have my oldest whip. I'm so sad I'm not finished with him. I mean, I only started it ten years ago. So, I got the kit on eBay in either 2007 or 2008. It was the only way for me to get it at that time that I could find, and it was around $50. It came with Ada. It's 17 by 14 inches when finished. DMC threads. 16 count Ada. <clears throat> Zweigert, at least. But, and we have Henry's torso. And hands. Nice. Got it. So, I did master um, What is the word of those things? French knots. Sorry. Total blank. I mastered French knots while working on him. So I have a couple that are quite large and wonky, and then the others are smaller. The red dots are French knots. But I'm not going back to fix those. It's just... <clears> That's <throat> just how it is. So, Henry VIII. And at the rate I'm going not even finishing one person in 10 years, he will be done 70 years. My light bulb's flickering. So I will be dead. So hopefully one of my girls will take him on and then their kids can work on him. Clearly, I will probably never finish him. Next up is Raven Queen. I started her two years ago, shortly after she came out. I don't even know what fabric I'm using for her. I stitched on her for one day and put her away and never pulled her back out. And that's that. I don't even know if I have it right side up. This could be upside down. One moment. Let's see if I can fix that. That was hot. No? Okay. I don't know what that's about. So, Raven Queen, the I started her along with a Stitch Along group. We were supposed to all stitch her like in October, two years ago. But I had only been working on Stargazer for a couple months at that point. Didn't have her very far. So I put her aside thinking I would <clears throat> finish Stargazer and then I'll work on her. No, nope. that's not a whip. Hasn't started yet. Doesn't count, right? Hasn't started it. Um, so that is that. Someday I'll pick her back up. I don't know. I'm just not... I like the Karen Water Lily threads that came with her. But there's so much black in it that it just kind of bores me. Next is a whip that was gifted to me by the Turbo Knitter gosh, about a year and a half ago. The Victorian Charm Kit. I worked on it also for about a day and have not picked it back up. This Dark Ada is hard. Hard. I have some other navy fabrics that I've received in the meantime so I may have to switch it to one of those I have 
screaming kids. I have three pieces of NYX by Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, I have an opalescent Lugana. No, opalescent linen. Another piece of linen I just got and a piece of Lugana. Um, I might switch this navy out to one of those. Perhaps the opalescent. Again, it's like everyone else. You know, you totally forget you have some of these. I haven't even stitching on that. Because it's been in a box in the corner of my bedroom and I haven't seen it. That is not a whip. It hasn't started yet. Apparently I have a lot of things in here that I just haven't started yet. Too. Okay. Next is... Man, I'm surprised I don't have this done. <clears throat> Send Lizzie Kate. Kit. Limited edition kit. Hello Spring. I have Hello Spring in one of the flowers, but so I'm a quarter, third of the way done. I don't know. I guess it just hasn't kept my interest, apparently. That's kind of sad. Maybe I'll finish it this spring. I've had it for two springs now, and I can't seem to finish it. This is one that I was just thinking of and was going to look for. Um, this is by Hands on Design. We all love Kathy and her new channel, which is amazing. I can't show you the chart. It came as a, well, the chart came in a um, So Much to Love bag a year ago or so. I want to say maybe it was August or September last year. It's called Sunshine on a Stem, and Kathy, her most recent video, she stated it will be released very soon. Um, the chart will be released, so that's fun if you don't have it like I do. I started, I stitched on this one day. <laughs> Again, what's with me and all the one day stitching? Um, I actually was stitching on this on Elizabeth's field trip to the art museum last spring. I sat in their little cafe area by the big fountain because there was sunlight coming in because it's it's not open but you know there's the big windows up top so I actually had sunlight <clears throat> it was very noisy those fountains are loud and I'm using uh, 28 latte CF linen can hear my phone going CF Linen. 28 Latte CF Linen. I don't know. I don't even know who I got this from. It's got my name on it, so I got it on something. But it's just a small piece of... It's just a latte colored linen. I actually need another piece of this. Something else I'm wanting to start, because, you know... Oh, I'm chart back in. But I wanted to finish this, the... Sunflowers are really out in bloom right now in our area. I'd like to get that done. I have so many fall and Halloween things I want to do, but I can't. This year I couldn't get in the mood to stitch fall or Halloween until like two weeks ago, which I hate because fall and Halloween is my favorite for stitching themes. And Cricut Collection Spring. I want to get Cricut Collections Autumn. <clears throat> I was just looking last night at 123 Stitch, and I saw it needs, I think, two silken color threads, and they're like $8 each. I don't know. I almost want to see the chart so I can see where are they used, because if it's just an itty-bitty thing, you know, I would switch something else. Anyway. Worked on this last spring. Quite a while. I really liked it. Um, and this is on one of Leslie's fabrics. It's like a light purpley blue periwinkle color. It actually matched the color that was called for in In perfectly. To where I had to go a shade darker on the In thread. I want to say it was something like 340. Something random like that. 
you know, it was one of those, oh, no, not 340. Let's see. One of those odd colors that, 156. box okay called for 341 i switched it to 156 so i was look at me and my memory of my chart changes i need to really stop stitching by season because i never want to stitch for that season unless it's that season like i can't stitch for halloween or for spring halloween i can do more year round or for fall but I don't know. This year, I think I just had so many other things, and I started so many things this year. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not like some of you. I don't have hundreds, but I got enough. Oh, uh, Cross Stitch Nation. I love this chart. I really, really do. My issue is it bores me. Let me show you why. The skirt. Big, long See, and I've stitched on this for like three days, and that's all I have done. Hmm. This is on Heritage, I think. I think. Picture this plus. I think it's Heritage. Heritage Legacy. I get the two mixed up so much. I switched out a lot of the, fat, the threads because I didn't have the exact colors, but I had many that were very similar. So, there we go. And I have a rainbow bright needle minder because, because I can. We had a garage sale at my parents the last couple of days. And years ago when Abby was a toddler, I got her a rainbow bright long sleeve t-shirt. And I was so sad, and I realized that's like a 4T, and there's no way that either of my girls will ever fit in again. But I'd forgotten about it, and then to see it pulled out, oh, oh, well, I missed that. I loved that shirt. I wish I'd bought it in four more sizes for them. So, next is Ink Circle's Kaleidoscope. I bought this just before Stitch from Stash started. I have been eyeing it for a long time. I still love it. I need to pull it back out because once again, I forgot I had it. I worked on it for, I think, a day. <laughs> oh, I got the center done. <laughs> and this is just a plain white um, Lugana or Joblin, one or the other. Probably Joblin. With also Rainbow Bright because it's Rainbow Bright. That's cute. So there we go. I have the very center of Kaleidoscope. I do love this chart though. It's so pretty. I get to, you know, I used to be a one chart stitcher. Man, I used to stitch. I could stitch something this big that's like 13 by 13, no, 10, 28 count, 10 and a half inch square. I could stitch something. I used to stitch those Paula Bonds in like a month. Or something out of like the Cross Stitch Crazy magazine, you know, that took up, the charts to take up a page and a half. You know, that's a good size, like those Margaret Sherry's or um, or those Country Companions, little animals. I used to stitch those all the time for myself. I'm like, man, why do I stitch so slow now? Oh, it's because I have kids. And I just don't stitch. It's that technology has killed it. I'll tell you, that's what it is because it used to be, I mean, but this was before Facebook too, but, you know, if I was going to get on the internet, I had to go to our computer room and get on the internet, do email or bills or whatever, and then I'd get up and I'd check the cross-stitch groups I was in on Yahoo, and then I'd get off and I'd be done. But now you just sit there with your phone or your Kindle and do 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 and get distracted all day long. You're all a distraction. Okay. Oh, uh, I got this bin and the girls got me this for my birthday last year. I thought I'd have it done. Dimensions 
Winter's Hush. It's a beautiful chart. Really is pretty. The fabric's not so beautiful. I'm working on the roof right in the middle. We have a chimney and part of the snow on the roof. So it is directly in the middle. It's that chunky chimney on this side. So that's what we have. Might be upside down. Upside down. Let's look at it this direction where it's not upside down. Okay, I've gotten up to the top of the roof. And that's the, the lines are the shadow from the tree behind it. <laughs> These do look so neat when they're completed. Man, that's some, hear that? Some starchy fabric. What's this? Oh, I forgot about this one. Again, this is another... Christmassy winter thing. I don't do well with Christmas and Christmas stitching. I love Christmas stitching. I have a lot of things I've completed over the years. But the keeping it out, I don't decorate for Christmas until uh, December 1st is my rule. And because usually it's not even really that cold here yet, so I gotta wait until I'm just thinking about putting the jacket on. We only have two of these done, not even. Mm. Oh. Okay, Country Cottage Needleworks, the Snow Place line, Snow Place like home. Okay, so I have Snow Place one finished and almost finished with two. They're really cute. There's four. I, mean, I have them all. There's five. Little family. And three. It says snowflakes. So this one will go up faster. You know what it is that's getting me? is stitching the borders around things. I need to quit stitching those little borders. I need to be like Bonner. Just make one big one. Because when you do these little, and they're, you know, 60 stitches by 50 stitches. I have two needle minders on here for some reason. Um, you know, that all that stitching time kind of adds up. And straight lines with this even boring. Especially when it's always the same magnet color. Like a green, a shutterfly green, or oh, what is this one? I don't even know. I don't have them in here, do I? Yes, I do. But now it's just always the same. Shade. Is it okay? Eve leaves. The same shade of green. It just kills me. It, there are the magnets again. Okay, so my magnets are popping, but there we are. It's one long piece. <clears throat> if we ever finish it. I mean, I guess I have almost two done. These really aren't even that big. It just kills me why it takes so long to do this. Kind of thing. <sighs> I'm quit being distracted. By everything. See if I just sit and watch TV in the evenings. Oh, I'm stitching. Like last night, I was stitching. You know, one of these somewhere in the pile here. And I was loving it and enjoying it. And then I started watching the live, um, not live, but not animated, the real life version of Beauty and the Beast, which I saw at the movies. And it's not like we don't know the story, but I couldn't stop watching. So I was just sitting there for two hours, not stitching. I was watching the movie. Um, this is... Santa Claus is coming to town. This is the one I restarted, if you watched last winter, because I had it on a dark, like a 20-count, really dark navy um, opalescent Ada that was very difficult to stitch on. It was beautiful colors, but it just was hard to stitch, especially these darker colors. 
This is by Etsy. It's on Etsy. And I don't want to say name because I'm going to be wrong. It's not Tetsuma Street. No, it's not Tetsuma Street. It is, it is whoever did the quotes, quotes to live by such a long thing. You know who I'm talking about. You've seen this chart. That's what it is. It is, I don't print them out. Some of these, they're digital. They're on my Kindle. So that's why it's not here. Um, next up, we have Winter White Santa. Last December's plan was, starting the day after Thanksgiving, to work on nothing but him. See how far I'd get. Guess what? It didn't work. He is not the only thing I've worked on. Ah. But this is directly in the middle with his staff. The staff is Krynik. And the first thing I stitched was the Krynik. Because the other colors surrounding that, I didn't have any of them in on hand. I couldn't believe it. And then this is... Uh, picture this plus is it Mercedes. Is that the color? It's kind of a... Sky bluey color. Of course, I don't have a thing in here telling me. What is that? Oh, my gemstone. He has a big gemstone. Big gem. Big gemstone. Oh, look what I found. Sweet. I've been meaning to look through all my bags to see just how many I do have. It's even newer. Because it doesn't have glitter in it. I like plenty of glitter. I thought they were pretty. Um, but I saw... Was it Lucretia? Lucretia's Crafts? I meant to watch the video the other day. Or it was on Facebook. Something about you can use the silicone earplugs. The ones that they come like in a small disc. And they're pliable to fit your ear. Apparently it's the same this one's been turned upside down apparently supposedly it's the same stuff as this so which kind of scares me because I don't really think I want to be the way I can just pull this apart I wouldn't want to shove it in my ear but I don't use earplugs so I may have to pick one of those up just to try it I have a couple beeswax I'm not a fan I don't like I feel like it leaves a gritty grittiness to it. I think this is more threads. No, this is oh yeah, this is just the the threads and chart for the <clears throat> winter's hush. I'm not sure why it's in a separate bag. Okay, all right. Going through the box now. We got two boxes. Getting there. Only 22 minutes in. Um, this is Janlin, not Janlin, oh my gosh. Joan Elliott, Spring Garden Fairy. This was originally being done for Abby. Now she doesn't know if she even likes it, so I'm going to finish it because I do enjoy stitching on it, but big water. It's hair or something. Pick on me. This is on Cotton Candy by, and I by Stephanie Jobelin. This is such a lovely fabric to stitch on. It's so, so soft. I mean, it's, oh my gosh, it's so soft. And she looks really, really pretty. So I have her skirt pretty much finished. And I have the metallic in it, backstitchy done, because I wanted to see it don't have the beads on her skirt yet. Isn't that funny? Do any of you, if you stitch while watch TV or whatever, happen to remember, like you pull out a piece and you remember what you were watching? I remember when I was stitching the metallic on this one, we were watching the movie scene last spring. So now I got that song in my head. One of them. Okay, this is something I think I am embarrassed to have started and worked on for a day or two. This is Janlin's Summer Sampler. 
Yes, Summer Sampler. Got it on eBay. I think they're beautiful. Once again, <laughs> if it's just getting anything done, I think it goes that way. I'm not positive. That's all I've stitched. Uh, itty -bitty bit. It's also, uh, oh, the, I think this is 14 count Ada. And it's spraying because <clears throat> I never did anything with it. Had it just sitting in. We're sitting in 11 by 17 Houston snap for a very long time. Okay, next up. We have, nope, not started. Well, I'm joking. I've been meaning to start this for a year and a half. Mirabilia, Tree of Hope. And I have gorgeous, gorgeous, under the sea fabrics, autumn, opalescent autumn. Oh, so pretty. I'm using this. Whoa. Needle minder touched the laptop. Um, that's happened before and it shut off my laptop. So, it's very, I really like that piece. Yeah, pull it out for something else. I'm using um, Autumn for, I'll do it, show it in my next video, but the Autumn Garden Victoria Sampler kit. Um, I got the, well, chart and the um, accessories pack which has all the threads and beads and what I got it on stash and load a couple weeks ago and I didn't realize how small it would be when you stitch it up it's like two inches by eight and a half on 14 count wow that's tiny or two by ten something like that so um you know, I have another fat quarter of autumn linen that I just received recently so I kind of snip off that, and then the other side of it, I think I'm going to do Prairie Schooler When Witches Go Riding. I got that last year, and I've been wanting to do it, so I think that would, the chunk, the large chunk of fabric I have left, I think I'll use on that. This is November Snapshot by Pine Mountain. I love it. Love that turkey so much. I recall having many charting issues with this. Not charting issues, thread color issues. Like it would call for color A, but it was nowhere listed because the chart called for color B. And when you looked, you realized color A is the right one. And so anyway, I had lots of little issues with that. So it's half done. I think I'll probably get this one done this year. I really like that turkey. Oh, I get him gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Get that turkey done. Okay, Halloween bag. What could be in the Halloween bag? It is oh. This was started with the Salem Sisters, Salem Not Forgotten Sisters Not Forgotten Stitch Along, and I've given up on this one, I think. It is the, <clears throat> I don't remember where it is, the chart was much bigger than I thought, especially once I started it, and I went, wow, that's a big chart of nothing but black, and it just bores me. I need some color. Here, butchie tea time. Very cute chart. It's a very big chart. It takes up one, two, three pages. I mean, it's, it's a big chart. So I had started it. This is the back of a chair in the middle. Might be upside down. Doesn't matter, though. It's just a line. So, I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to work on that anymore. <clears throat> it has a little orange and green in it also, but not much. And and I think part of it's because the chart is disjointed. It's covering three pages, and yet it's like, it's not going this section, this section, this section. It's like, here's the bottom on the last page. And then the second page is like this middle chunk of the whole thing. And then the first page is this side over here, and then you got this other piece. Wait, it's just... It's so, it's like a big puzzle, and I don't like that. I like my charts to be, here you are, 
two pages is fine. Just don't have chunk and a chunk. You know? You know. You know what I mean. It's just annoying. Get hit in the face with this stuff. This is what I've been working on last night, yesterday, and a little bit this afternoon. This is Lizzie Kate's Very Scary Stitch Along from two years ago. Maybe three years ago, even. I'm almost done with the first half, first part. Move down. This is a Silk Weaver linen. I don't know if it was a solo or fabric of the month from 10 years ago, but it has gray. Let's see if you can. There's grays, greens, a little purple in there. Some hints of like a limey green, but it's it's muted down and almost just looks like a really dirty gray. A little bit of color to it. <clears throat> I really like the color of the fabric. I had been saving it for. Let's see. I know I have the full chart. I can show it to you. Design, not chart. There you go. Super cute. And I know I got this from was that rainbow store rainbow stitcher rainbow stitches rainbow she went out of business almost two years ago and had charts marked down like 40% off and even more and I know I got two of these pieces for like three dollars and then I had to pay full price for the lot for the third part for one of the parts <clears throat> which was still like eight or nine dollars I think maybe I know I, I think I got it on one two three stitch and then threads I'm using pretty much most of the called for threads I did switch out a few you know if it calls for this shade of green and I had one that was very similar I just switched it that biggie this is the old old red barn a little house needleworks is this all I no, this is all I've done. I started in the middle. I have a tree. So there we go. And this is on the called for fabric, which is, I think it's called for. This last spring I got a couple, I was on like a Vana binge watching her videos. And I've always loved Little House Nato work, so I went and looked at a few on one two three stitch I wanted to see well what else is there maybe there's some because I haven't bought any in a couple of years so vintage pearled barley from Lakeside Linens and I'm using all the called for threads because I did order them because I ordered this and farmer's daughter where's that at oh it's over here <clears throat> all at the same time I was thinking I would stitch that one for my dad for his birthday. It's October 12th. I think I'll be done. No, me either. Okay, this is the Country Cottage Main Street. Main Street. We have many of them. I've started on the books. I have finished the first one, and that's where it ends. Um... Once again, I think these look so, so cute. And then I start stitching them. For some reason, it's taking me forever. But I am going to do Vana's border around, I think. Um, learned my lesson on stitching borders, right? And their images show, well, here, here's the next one, the gazebo. Shows the ivy or greenery at the top and bottom. I'm not doing it top. I think I will do it at the bottom. So it'll be a row of that, and then there'll be another row of houses. I think there's 10 total. No, it's got the fifty letters. So, and then I'm using is this Rainforest. It's from Silk Weaver. It's Wexford Linen, which is my absolute favorite. So. I won't order from them online except on the Facebook page, but they haven't done any of their sales in like six months, so I check it occasionally to see if they've got any. But I guess they're not doing any more. I want more Wexford linen. 
but I don't want to pay for it through their website and take a chance of never receiving it. Or taking six months. You all know how it goes, right? Right. Let's put that with that. I'm going to switch to that. Okay. Next up is my Itte Bitte. <clears throat> this is how we brew it. The colors are so bright in the picture. I'm so glad they're not as bright <laughs> in real life. I know it's just the lighting. So I was glad to see there. See the blue is not. Let's see. I just kind of move things around funky here. Here we go. There. You can see it is not, not nearly as bright. And this is on the Oaken called for Ada. I got this on um, Crazy Annie's because they had the cut down piece of the Oaken. And this was. When I ordered this over the summer, this was my favorite of the ones that had come out at the time. I really like this Oaken. It's that new picture of this plus color. This is Ada, 16 count Ada, but it's just a really good neutral. I didn't hit their Christmas sale this year. Because um, I've realized I'm, I'm not a fan of their lemon. I like the colors of it. But after I ordered a bunch of it a couple years ago, like spent my cross stitch budget ordering like seven or eight pieces. And I last, it's about a year ago, um, after my gallbladder surgery, I remember being at the hospital and seeing that one, two, three stitch had yards of picture this plus linen 40% off. And I'm like, you can't beat that. So I went online and I ordered, um, uh, I have a dark one. I don't remember what it's called. It's like a dark greeny gray. And then <clears throat> I think Legacy. And I know Ale. And I don't like Ale. Well, the Ale came as Lugana. It's just too ugly khaki brown. That's what it is. Reminds me of like ugly khakis. I used to wear it to work it off at night. Um, so I'm not... I don't, mm. I like their colors. I do like that Ada. It's much softer. But their linens are just real, real stiff. They just feel... That's just me. They just feel yucky. Most of them. But then the winter white, the Santa, I think he's on one of their linens. I got through one, two, three stitch. I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's all in my head and I'm crazy. Okay, we have the... Clouds Factory. Stitch along with the lady. The lady ladies. I improvised Queen Victoria. She had originally a blue mansion behind her and a little carriage down here. Um, on Instagram, Cairo Stitcher. If you look for these on Instagram, you'll find them. Um, she had stitched the castle and then someone else, I think, on the Clouds Factory page or somewhere on Facebook had posted where they created their own little chart of Westminster Abbey. Um, and so I kind of, I took it off there and I will look up who it was exactly. But I know she said she got the idea off of Cairo. Gosh, is it Cairo underscore B? Cairo something. <clears throat> anyway, I will figure out who that is. It's on Instagram. If you look these up on Instagram, you'll find it. I did not put anything down here because how low it was being stitched. And I just wanted to see going on to um, Susan B. Anthony, right? Yes. I wanted to see how it would mesh up and how it will look. I may add in, it was a tiny little buggy and it just kind of looked, I'm just like, I'm just trying to fill this spot. So I want to see how it gets. But I have all of this side and I'm doing this on Silk Weavers. This is not a Wexford linen. It's an even weave. Twixt and tween? Something like that. I really like the colors of this fabric and how it looks old. And um, I have stopped at the moment really being into who their options are for stitching it. 
So I haven't touched it in a couple months because I just, meh. Or I'm just over the stitch along thing. And I just have 50 million other things I'm working on. But I have it in the Q snap, so that gives me an idea that I do actually want to finish it at some point. But she has come up with some extra ladies you can switch people out with. She's got Florence Nightingale, J.K. Rowling. Um, and there were a couple more. So, I don't know. I think I just kind of want to wait and see where it goes and how I want to move forward. Okay, we're getting near the end. We're down to my bag. 39 minutes. Wow, look at me. Trying to not talk as much. Extra random stuff in this. I'm trying to make it more just a whiff parade. And then I will chat it up in my next one. But these days I can't stop talking. Stargazer. Stargazer. I have not touched her all summer, I think. I don't remember the last time I worked on her. Could have been June, could have been July, but I don't remember. Oh my gosh, look how much it's done! Oh, I still love her. I still love this fabric. This is a Silk Weaver Wexford Linen. I don't know the name of it. I went looking through their flash sale over two years ago looking for the perfect fabric. And I thought, it looks like Earth from Space or something. But that is just gorgeous. I love it. It's blue with browns and rusty and... Man, she's so pretty. Dang it. Now I want to get on over my... I got to finish that skirt. There's so much skirt. I mean, it's, seriously, I work on her and I think, okay, I'm getting close. And then you look at the chart and you still have this much to do. <sighs> Never ending chart. And then I get so jealous when I see some people that have stitched her in like two months. People that have thought about stitching her and I might do a color conversion. I'm thinking about stitching her. And then they go and convert it and finish it and frame it. And I'm still working over two years. But again, it's not like I'm stitching on her every day, clearly, because I don't remember the last time I worked on her. She needs some love soon. But we've been sick the last couple weeks. Oh my gosh. I've had some <coughs> see <coughs> cold congestion. Man, I see congestion last week. It's better now, but man, it was getting bad. Okay. This is Farmer's Daughter. Little House Dino Works. Farmer's Daughter, I think. Was it um Chelsea and Priscilla, I think Chelsea's working on somebody's working on this recently. Anyway, this is on, I think, once again, think it's on Legacy or Heritage from Picture This Plus. This was that yard of linen I got last year. I mean, 40% off. It was down to like 60 bucks. I'm like, well, if you cut it in four, that's four fat quarters. And at what? They charge for theirs like $24, $25. They charge a little more than others. So 25 bucks, that's $100. I'm like, well, shoot, I could just sell two of them, sell half of it, and practically get my money back. But I don't think I need to do that. I am doing, no, not all of the called for colors. I've switched a little bit out. Like my, ooh, my red is much darker. I think. It's hard to see. Do, do. See, there. My reds are darker. My colors are a little darker, but that's okay. It looks nice. <clears throat> I like it. I'm doing it for me because I'm a farmer's daughter. Dang it. Did I get that in there? You can see my dad too. Okay. Next we have oh, tempting tangles. This corner of Earth stitch along. This was. Five dollars on Facebook. Um, put that thread. I don't know. I thought I saw a pair of scissors here a minute ago. I mean, it's a scrapbook room or a cross stitch room. No, it's a scrapbook room. I have all my cross. Okay. I don't see it. So 
I have done almost the first part. <laughs> I did only work on this one night, though. This is the top of it over here. I can't show you pictures because it's a chart, and it's from, it's on Facebook. Um, Tempting Tangles on Facebook, if you're interested in it. It's really cute. It's heart. It says, this corner of earth smiles for me or laughs for me, and it shows, it's like green ivy heart. Little houses, and there's like a big house at the bottom. Um, it's not finished yet. It's only $5. But if you just search this corner of Earth, such a long, or S-A-L, Val, however you want to word it. Um, I'm doing it on a silk weaver linen, random, one of their weird squares, like 18 by 18 inches or something. I want to say it ends up being like 9 by 9 inches. Fun to open something there. from there. Roll it. This is Frosted Pumpkin. The pie. <clears throat> What's the pie thing called? Tracy, I don't remember. You got me to do it. Pie. Pie Club? Pie Love? Pie? Pie. It's the pie stitch along. I've done the chocolate something, chocolate cream pie and key lime pie. I'm doing this on Picture This Plus Da Vinci linen. It's a fat corner I cut in half because that's all I need. It's cute. I don't know. I don't know. I do love this fabric. I love the colors. The purple with the orange rust in it. It's really pretty. Abby picked out the color of the fabric. I wasn't sure what color to do. I pulled out several random. Which one should I do? It's pie. Cute pies. Looks, you know, like your little Shopkins. Just that one. It's sparkly. I think the colors are working. I like it so far. Next up, have I started this? Anybody know? Anybody, anybody? Hmm, there's a couple things in here. Okay, well, let's figure this out. Oh, the planets. Abby's planets. Who I'm stitching for her. I got them on Etsy. I don't know. I don't know if it's called solar system planets, what it's called. They're cute. See, they're kawaii looking, you know, little faces. And then the big, um, and this is on Leslie's Under the Sea Fabrics. Is this Cosmo? I don't think I have. Oh, Chloris. No, it's not. That's something else that's in here. So I don't know what fabric it's called, but it's dark sky-like and sparkly and it's beautiful and I love it. So if you know, comment below. <laughs> yeah, it's got dark, it might be Cosmo. I just got another piece from her. I shopped her sale this summer. I was shopping for fabric for Merchant, Merchant Mermaid by Mirabilia. The one with the Mill Hill symbol on it. I don't think I found what fabric I want for it. I'm just, I don't know. This is Chorus, also by Under the Sea Fabrics, right? Yes. And, oh, this is <clears throat> it's a fairy. Her name, Geranium! Nora? Mirabilia. Nora, Geranium. Elizabeth picked this one out. As soon as I finished her mermaid a few months ago, you know, one day I was sitting there, what should I stitch on? How about my mermaid? I, said, I stitched your mermaid. Said, Can I get another one? <laughs> How about I finish Abby's stuff first? No. This is Chloris by Leslie. I chopped it in half. I, had her pick. I said, pick a side. Which side do you want? So her head will be up here. I think it's a beautiful piece of fabric, especially beautiful for a five-year-old who loves rainbow. Everything rainbow. Nose is so itchy. I carry all the stuff back upstairs. It's not fun. Okay, next up we have Little House Needleworks. This is the ABC samplers. You've all seen Vanna's. I'm a little behind because I was not smart and I'm stitching all my 
bits. And you know what? I don't see them as fabric anymore. Oh, shoot. Yeah, well. I'm not going to have a whole lot of... Again, I got this from Crazy Annie's. I like their little sign-ups with the clubs, things like this. Um, usually their prices are a tiny bit lower, and you can get the specific fabric cut down to size. You can get the threads. And if you don't want the threads anymore, you just email them and say, Hey, you've sent me the threads with each part of this, and I've got a lot of these threads now, and I'm paying $25 per section. And she goes, Sorry. We didn't know how much they would ha need, so I think, and it was this one too. Last year they didn't, <clears throat> um, with every bit, you got the necessary threads. And I guess Little House didn't tell them or didn't know at the time exactly how many of Nutmeg you would need, how many Weeping Willow, I'm thinking how many Chestnut, all the colors that I have multiples on multiples of now. I mean, I have still two more I haven't even opened up <clears throat> of the threads. How many Weeping Willow and Pebble Beach do I need? And Hazelnut. I mean, at least they're browns, they're neutrals, their colors I'll use, but they're all the same. <clears throat> I think I have four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So at least five yeah, five of each because the rest I haven't opened up yet. Because I then emailed and said, you know, I want to keep getting the charts, but I don't need any more thread. I'm good. And she said, I understand. We didn't realize how many were needed at the time. And we were just sending them each time. So they were very kind about it. And they understood. And, you know, I'm like, you know, it's like six something with shipping for the chart to send to me. But to get the threads, too, it was costing like $26 because you've got five or six. One, two, three, four, I think six in here. Mm. Yeah. And at, what are they, two, almost two and a half each? These are all crescent colors. Or no, what is that? Classic Color Works, same thing, right? Same company. They just changed the name to confuse us all. <clears throat> so... What are you going to do? It's just, what are you going to do? You know, I did what I need to do. All right. We are down to, oh my gosh. It's the never ending story of cross stitch. Four more. Oh, we need to finish this one. <clears throat> this is from one of the Halloween magazines. This might say on here which one. It's a witch. Witch and Friends, designed by Donna. Giampa, Giampa of the Vermilion Stitchery. I got the magazine specifically for this chart. I think she's beautiful. This one is just cross stitch, but I don't know which year it is. It's either. It's two thousand seventeen now. Ow. I'm gonna say it's fourteen or fifteen. It is not last year or this year. I apologize for having torn it out because I know I started this two years ago and this is on carnival picture this plus linen and it's opalescent and see that this one is not stiff and scratchy the da Vinci piece that I'm doing the frosted pumpkin pie club thing on that one is stiff so why are some of their linens that are all the same, you know, it's the same linen that they dye. Why are some stiff and starchy and others are soft and pliable? Is it because I've had this piece for a lot longer? I can tell you right now, I got this piece <clears throat> at one of the cats, the cross stitch convention in Des Moines, Iowa in either 2003, 2004, 2005, because someone was there something dragon was her name her store name or something and she had a lot of dragon charts and whatnot and she had a picture of this plus fabric and it was the first time i'd ever seen their fabric in person and so i bought da vinci and this because i had bought 
I bought a big piece of this because I used it also on another Halloween piece I had. But anyway, I have the cat, pumpkin, owl, and her hand. It is one of those charts that kind of reminds you of like Stony Creek and it's itty bitty tiny. You know, the here, let's show you a snippet. See, it's tiny chart. I mean, you know, just the, you gotta like zoom. So, and there's lots of, lots of fractionals in this thing. It's like they tried to keep it as small as possible. Overall, she ends up being five and a third by six and a half on 28 count. So, they cram detail on this baby. I love her. I think it's, I mean, it's coming together. I don't know. I really loved it a lot more, I think, when I got the magazine than I do now. Now I'm just kind of, meh. But I, I'm pretty sure this is Carnival. Oh, darn. I can't get good color behind it to show you the, this corner here is like an olive green, and there's oranges and yellows. It's really pretty. Almost makes you think like Hunter, Autumn, Fall, but sparkly. Mm, never have too many sparkles. I didn't realize I had so many. Okay. Let's go with this one next and that one last because I don't remember what's in that one at all. So it'll be a surprise. But it has... Yes, I do. Anyway. No, no, this this one. This is... <clears throat> Fairy schooler? Right? Yes. New World Sampler. Picked this up from Trisha on her sale over the summer. Started a little, another stitch along with Tracy. I think we just like to start things together and then have her pick them up again. Because <laughs> we've done it a few times. This is on Coco Wexford Linen by Silk Weaver. I started in the boat. I shouldn't have started with the boat because it's a lot of boat. It's a lot of brown. It's the same, like two shades of brown right in the middle. I wish I had started up in the corner with the creature. I don't know. Dragony dude. Something. Somebody. You know, more color. But it's, it's pretty. It's very classic is that the word you know just very simple and and I love I love stitching on looks for linen I just come on Zweigert you need to take away that apparently they exclusively sell it to silk weaver it is a blend between linen and even weave and it's beautiful I love the way it holds dye because you get some darker and some lighter. I mean, you're getting the best of both worlds. You know, like how Joe Blin or Lugana dyes lighter. Linen dyes darker. This one gets bits of darker, bits of lighter. And it's smooth. It's like stitching butter. And I want to go to the East Coast and go to their store, dang it. So I can just buy all the Wexford linen I ever need in person. So I don't have to deal with their... Oh, I got two more in here. Um, I don't have to deal with their... Horrible shipping issues out of that store. Okay, this is um, <clears throat> Ships Manor. Manor? Manor? Manor. Maynard is it, right? It's Manor. Um, town. Mystery Town. Sit on. And this is on Eric's made linen. Sky blue cloudy linen and the called for threads. Which there's like five that he died, and then the rest are DMC. I gotta finish this thing. I like it. It was fun to stitch on. And there's a hot air balloon at the end. I love hot air balloons. I think they're beautiful. I used to have a really neat hot air balloon festival here in Kansas City for a few years. And then they moved it <clears throat> over to Speedway two or three years ago, and we went to it. And it was really hot. Okay, it was, I think it was three years ago. So Elizabeth was maybe two. It was super, super hot. Tickets were like $20 a person plus parking. 
the kids area the get girls had no interest in, they had another Kansas City Symphony was there and they had like a kids um a petting zoo what they call musical instrument petting zoo so you could come up and play with all the different instruments they had like a little violin and they had mouth instruments but they had employees there that were cleaning each one off after each child so but my girls didn't go for that stuff but um oh that's what's in there but they i guess people complained about it so much and parking was Parking wasn't so bad. It was getting there because it was like one way big main street going in. So people trying to do other things in that area were just getting stopped by all this congestion. Um, so we didn't stay, I think, an hour or so. We weren't there very long. It was hot and we didn't, the girls, you know, didn't want to go up and do it because you could go pay to go up in them, but you only went, you're, you're tethered. So you only went so far. And they just, no. <clears throat> so anyway, they, Last year, another company was doing it. I don't know what happened with that one, why they weren't doing it again. Um, another one was doing it, and I think half of the people, the balloons and whatnot, and the vendors didn't show up or something. We didn't go out to that one, but that was it. I haven't heard anything about this year. It's kind of sad. I was hoping they'd do it. I really, It was really neat because we were driving away as they were all going up at dusk, and you just saw all these hot air balloons going up. It was really fun. Um, this one is um, Jardine Privé, the, what was it, ABC Mystery, ABC, everything's a mystery this year for me, it's the year of mystery, ABC something, it's in French, and I don't speak French, tried that in college, that didn't work out well, so anyway, I have A, A is finished, almost, I go, oh, gotta finish for boot. This is on Ale. Picture this plus uh, Lugana. See how dark it is? I mean, I know okay, it looks better on screen than it does in person. This looks more yellowy. Just there, huh? See? See how dark it is? Here, take that away, and it looks nice. You can see something behind it there. I mean, I know it, it's like the color of Ale, which I don't like anyway. But, I don't know, it's almost like dirty cardboard color. I'm just not... Yeah, I wish it was picking up the color better. It's not. It's showing so much lighter. That's a bummer. What is that? Oh, here's another one. Nora. Eve. Jeez, I didn't get far on that either. And that is Under the Sea Fabrics. Fabric. It was a fabric of the month two years ago. It's opalescent. It's similar colors to, very similar, pinks, purpley to her dress. <clears throat> so, well, along with everybody else, I have more projects than I thought. Many I have forgotten about. I have... And see, and here I was looking yesterday on 123 Stitch for the, I wanted to get the Autumn by um, Cricut Collection, Cross-Eyed Cricut. I wanted to get the Autumn, and I was looking at some of the Plum Street samplers. Is it Jack's Tart? Those little tarts. It has a cat and a pumpkin. I was looking at that, but it called for so many, like 10. I don't really want to spend thirty dollars on threads right now. Kind of spend a little less at times, you know. It's not working. So that is that. What was in here? See, now I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what I have. That's too much, I guess. Well, that is all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy my parade of wit. I hope it, hope it forces me to stitch some more. So I hope to be back soon in a, another video. Talk to you all soon. Bye.